Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to make low poly trees for your Roblox game. I'll also be showing you how to import it into your Roblox studio and how to make the snowy effect right on top of them. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first thing we need to do is open up Blender and let's go ahead and delete all of those. Delete the default cube of course. And all you need to do is add another cube, because we work like that. You're gonna press M, and you're gonna click Add Center. So you're gonna merge it at Center, that way you have a vertice right here. And you're gonna go to your Modifier options, and you're gonna add a Skin Modifier. Now, this Skin Modifier is very handy, because when you press E to extrude, you can make multiple you know, sections very easily without configuring anything too much. So we're gonna go back to the default view. We're gonna be adding a little more modifiers as well. So on top of the skin modifier, we're gonna be adding a subdivision surface to give it that smooth, low poly look. Unless you really want cubic trees, it's, uh, it's up to you really. If you want cubic trees, go ahead and remove that and it should work either way but I'm gonna be doing a subdivision surface. Now we're gonna click this box right here so we can see an X-ray view of the point. And all you really need to do is start extruding. You're gonna extrude on the Z axis. So when you press E, you can press Z so it scales on the Z axis. And all you need to do is mess around with it, size it up. Size it down, up, however thick you want it to be. To size it, you're gonna press Control A, and it should size it like that when you move your mouse. So you're gonna do that. Now, as you can see, it really doesn't look like a tree right now, so we're gonna fix that up real quick. We're gonna press Control R to add another vertice, and you're gonna double click G to move it up and down. Now I'm gonna move this all the way down here. And that way, the bottom is more flat instead of circular. So we're gonna have the bottom flat. And I'm gonna add another point. And I'm gonna extrude it down. The bottom is typically larger in trees. That's how I like it to look. So we're just gonna mess around like this. If you want a big tree, short tree, it's up to you entirely. And now we got a basic, you know, middle of the tree, log, branch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to be adding branches now. So all you need to do to add branches, control R, add a point, and you're going to extrude outwards and extrude again. And you can shape it however you want it. Now there might be some issues with this part, for example, if it looks a little like this, all you really need to do is either scale it around until it looks good, or if scaling doesn't work, then you could always move it around, which would fix the issue as well. So just mess around with it, pick up any shape you want. The branches tend to be thinner than um, the main, main, main tree, so we're gonna make these thinner. Also, if you're wondering how I did that, all you, um, the extruding without pressing E. All you really need to do is hold control and right mouse click anywhere you want and you can make branches like that very easily unless you want to do this manually. But uh, I feel like randomizing it would give it a better look. Now this one it's a little too thick for a branch so I'm gonna size it down. Give it a little more pizzazz. Now I'm gonna mess around with the branches a bit and I'll come back to you guys in a second for the next step. Alright, so I gave it a little more shapes. Now as you can see, it goes from thick in the middle to thin at the end. Now this is my style of doing trees. You can style it however you want as I said, but I just want it to look somewhat realistic as a low poly model. So, um, so once you, you're done with this, you have the general shape. You're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side because it is a 3D model after all. So if you press 1 on your numpad, you go to the main view, the front view. 
if you've pressed 3 on your numpad, you go to the side view. Now as you can see the side is fairly flat, so we're gonna select these vertices, the ones in the middle, and you're gonna go to the side view, and you're just gonna do a little more branches, not too much, you know, just here and there. Gonna add a couple branches, make these thinner, thin at the ends, and this should be good for now. I'm not uh, just just a tutorial, you know. You can detail it however much you want. You can add as many branches as you want, but this should be good for now. Now, as you can see, it looks too straight. So, one trick you can do is up top you can click this circle or you can press O on your keyboard to activate it and once it's activated you can select any vertices press G and use your uh, mouse scroll thingy to uh, mess around with the circle now this uh, this is the circle of influence so anything that you move inside of the circle so if I press G to move it moves with it so if it's off as you can see it's only the vertices moving but if it's on it moves everything inside of the circle with it so i'm just gonna get the circle nice and big and what you need to do is mess around with it see so give it curves and shapes and sizes now while you're doing this just be careful to not mess up the uh, the tree because if you move it like this for example you have to deactivate x-ray to see better and see if anything's messed up or see like for example this right here it's messed up so i'm gonna come back here x-ray select this and fix it up real quick now fix it up with this deactivated so you can only focus on that vertice then you can activate the o again and all you really need to do is move around the tree randomly i prefer to do it randomly without thinking too much because you know trees are random they grow randomly they're shaped randomly and of course we got to get the side view as well so let's make this circle big select the middle ones and give it a little more shape okay that's a little too much shape there you go so now that you got a randomized shape, you're going to go over all the issues, the error areas, and you're just going to fix them. So, so as I said before, size them down. As you can see, this one's fixed because I sized it down. You can either size them down, size them up, or even move them around a little bit. I also like to add more vertices to places that don't get fixed with size so for example for this i'm gonna click ctrl r and that should add more topology there so it should fix it now i'm gonna go over around the tree the whole tree and fix up the, the issues and i'll get back to you guys all right everything should be fine now i'm just gonna size this down a little bit because i feel like it's too thick so just like that and now you got a nice tree model that you can use for your games. Now to import this in your studio, you gotta apply the modifiers first. So over here on the right side, you can click this modifier, click this icon right here and apply. Or you can click this and press Ctrl A to apply while you're in object mode. So once it's all applied, you're going to export this as an FBX. You're going to go to files over here. Make sure you have it selected. Export as an FBX. And you're just going to export it wherever you need. So I'm going to call this low poly tree model. Export as FBX. And we'll head back to Roblox Studio now. All right, we're on Roblox Studio. Now to import this, there are two ways. You can either click this import 3D. If it doesn't show up, you're gonna have to activate it by going into the game settings, I believe. Oh no, beta features, my bad. So you go into beta features and there should be something called 3D import. Just activate that, save, and you might need to restart your Roblox Studio if it doesn't show up. But once it's there, you can either click it find your file and import just like that and it should be in game 
pretty easily. The other way is you go to view, you go to asset manager and you can imp ex import it with this icon right here. So now that we have this tree here, we need to size it down. So there's this plugin right here called model resize, which is very handy. That lets you resize it without deforming the whole tree. So I can resize it this way. And there's also the other way, which is the hassle way, you know, no one wants to really do this way. You can resize it with your Roblox thing, the main scale right here. So now that we have this tree model, we are going to have to color it. So since you export it as FBX, all you need to do is just apply a color. Should be any color. Or you can go to this, press the cube right here, and you can choose a brick color from the, these options right here. I'm just gonna give it that color. And let's see, what else? Oh yeah, the snow. To add snow, what I did here is I basically just copy pasted it. So just copy paste, duplicate it and you're gonna slightly move it up just a tiny little bit there you go then you're gonna color this white and it should have a very cool snow effects now the cool thing about um, using blender for models is you can change the materials without any issues so if you wanted to have a wooden material you can change it to wood if you want the snow part to have a wooden material, let's select the snow, then you can press, oh, there's no snow, okay, let's press sand, there you go, that should be close enough. So yeah, you can mess around with it. Now if you want to create leaves just like this, we're going to go back into Blender, you're going to press Shift A to add a cube or an icosphere. Preferably an icosphere because uh, we're gonna need a low poly look to it, you know? So you're gonna add that in. All you need to do is press G to move, S to scale, and Shift D to duplicate. You're just gonna add these all the way around your entire tree. And make sure they're different sizes as well. We don't want all of them to be the same size. It won't be that realistic. So make, always make sure to rotate with your viewport to make sure that it's all looking nice. Now usually I put the small balls first, small leaves on the smaller branches. And then at the end I'm gonna get a ball and I'm gonna make a huge tree leaf right here. And just place it around just like that still exposing the branch area so it would look not that bad in the roblox game now once you have all of this right here you're gonna do the same thing so i'm gonna export this import it to roblox studio and i'll get back to you there all right we're back in studio and i have imported the tree model right here so we're gonna go over and resize this i'm gonna deactivate this actually because I'd rather use this plugin. Now we're gonna size it down and we got this tree model right here. Now to color the leaves just ungroup the whole thing. As you can see the leaves are all selected as one and you can just mess around with it. Choose different types of colors whatever you like and we could also try to add the snow as well. So let's move it up color this white and there you have it now it looks a little bit too uh too good too perfect so let's move this a little more to the right to add a another layer there you go so now you got a nice snowy tree model if you want to remove the snow just go ahead and do that and yeah that's gonna be it for the tutorial i hope you guys learned a thing or two in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.